The world is changing and digitalizing more than ever before. And the speed of change is faster than our response. The ever-evolving digital landscape has become the battleground where many are losing their jobs and livelihoods. And so you have to intentionally position yourself to survive, keep pace and stay relevant. Wishful thinking and daydreaming will stifle your creativity and hinder your ability to succeed and thrive in this new era, which is the fourth industrial revolution. Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Nikki Verd. I am the voice for those who yearn to upskill, innovate, disrupt the status quo and recreate themselves in a world that's fast changing. I am also the author of the best-selling book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted. Before we get into the video, if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new video. You can also smash the like button. It helps my channel and it also helps other people discover this knowledge I am sharing. One of the great liabilities of history is that too many people fail to remain awake through great periods of social change. Every society has its protectors of status quo and its fraternities of the different who are notorious for sleeping through revolutions. Today, our very survival depends on our ability to stay awake, to adjust to new ideas and to remain vigilant and to face the challenge of change. These are the words of Martin Luther Jr., one of the greatest men to have walked the earth. There is nothing more tragic than to slip through a revolution. And these words are more relevant for our time today. The big question is, are you awake? The world was already experiencing an extraordinary shift long before the COVID-19 pandemic happened. This shift continues to accelerate and so you cannot afford to sit on the sidelines hoping that perhaps things will just blow over and life will go back to normal. No, the world as we knew it is gone. That era is over. The new normal is here and it is your responsibility to equip yourself with the right mindset and the right skills that will give you a foothold in today's fast evolving economy. Those who understand this and can adapt the fastest will be the winners in this era. As technology continues to advance, government entities, private sector and other institutions are relying on digital technologies to drive economic growth promote socio-economic development and cultural achievement. And so, you need to equip yourself with the required skills to create and participate in this digital economy. However, I do understand that phrases like digital or the fourth industrial revolution, they still represent an unfamiliar world for many people today. But I'm here to help you understand the basics so that you can let go of your fears and embrace the digital world we are living in today. I want you to understand the world around you and how fast it is changing and what you can do to become part of the revolution. Instead of being a casualty in new technologies, I'm here to show you how you can ride the waves of change, how you can future-proof yourself and your skills, how you can position yourself to become a full participant in this digital economy. Being aware of how the world is changing provides a gateway to many opportunities in this new era. And so, here are five steps for you to position yourself and ride and enjoy the waves of change in the fourth industrial revolution and this digital economy. The first step is to shift your mindset. The mind is where the revolution begins. Just a few years back, I would have described myself as technologically challenged when it comes to these topics of tech or the digital world, but that's no longer my story. I was technophobia, of course. I was very intimidated by technology, and I can say I'm still very much intimidated by technology on so many different levels. And whenever I say I'm intimidated by tech, some of my friends start rolling their eyes and looking at me like, Nikki, what are you talking about? You wrote a book about tech. Anyway, the point is that you need a shift in mindset because I wouldn't be here and we wouldn't be having these conversations if I did not 
changed my mindset about how I was viewing technology. I used to think that technology was only for special people, you know, people like those in the IT fields or industry experts. And I never could have imagined myself having a simple conversation about technology, not to mention writing a book. But I did it and because I had a shift in my mindset and I've told the story so many times of how it all happened. I will share the link to that story in this video. And so in my book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted, I mentioned that the fourth industrial revolution is not about new technologies or new apps, but it is about a new era, new ways of thinking and new ways of doing business. And this is the shift in mindset that I'm talking about. You have to change your way of thinking to survive in the fourth industrial revolution. You need to change the way you look at things and create an action plan for success in the digital economy. Technology will not slow down, but it will continue to keep accelerating. And by accepting this and thinking competitively, you know, about your own life, you'll be able to leverage technologies that are currently available to you while anticipating new ones. The need for change is urgent and the time is running out for people who are still holding on to old ways of thinking or old ways of working or old ways of learning or old ways of doing business. The new economy demands that you change how you think and how you learn. And when you do that, you become, you know, prepared for change and you also become prepared to thrive within change. That's an approach that will set you up for success in the fourth industrial revolution. Step two is for you to educate yourself. Self-education means learning through one's efforts as opposed to being taught by a trained professional or an instructor. It's about acquiring knowledge without having someone else to teach it to you. That's exactly how I was able to learn about technology and about everything else regarding life. You know, I have a hunger for knowledge and I'm always learning. I'm always learning about myself, learning about my emotions, learning about parenting, learning about friendships and relationships, learning about how the economy works. I'm always learning about different countries and different cultures around the world, learning about food, learning about health and fitness, learning about fashion, makeup and hair, and all of that, you know, because I'm a very curious person. Uh, sometimes I learn through articles. An article can give me the knowledge I'm seeking for. Sometimes it's a YouTube video. Sometimes it's the knowledge it's found in books. And if you hang around me long enough, you will notice that I will start shoving books down your throat. <laughs> That's just the kind of friend that I am. I enjoy seeing other people growing and educating themselves and us exchanging ideas, you know, and empowering each other. If not, then what's the point of friendship anyway? So one of the things that I mentioned in my book is that we need to completely discard the notion that this topic of technology and automation or robotics and artificial intelligence is only for experts and nerds because this unprecedented technology requires people especially youth from diverse disciplines and backgrounds to join the conversation many people think like mm, well i'm not in it so i don't have to educate myself about technology no contrary to popular belief you do not need to be a software engineer or a computer scientist or in IT to be part of this revolution. So join conversations about tech, digital skills or the future of work because these are things that will impact your life directly or indirectly. You know, understanding the fourth industrial revolution and its key technologies is the first major step to thriving in the digital economy. This includes understanding the impact of digital technologies on your job, your industry, your organization, and the entire economy. You need to understand where you are at the moment. Like, are you self-employed or are you employed? Which industry do you work in? What skills do you currently have? Are these skills relevant? What skills do you need to stay relevant? Most importantly, you need to understand how technology is changing your industry. Do you see yourself in that particular industry or in that particular job long term? What career shift is more suitable for you? How is digital changing your business or your job? You know, what is your life purpose and how can you execute it in, in a digital world? These are important life questions. 
Educating yourself about new technologies and their impact will help you answer these questions and put things into perspective. This isn't about being an expert in all things tech, but it's about understanding the basics and being aware of how technology is changing the world. As Martin Luther Jr. said, there is nothing more tragic than to slip through a revolution. So, educate yourself to remain awake. Educating yourself involves reading books, articles, watching videos, attending industry events, and taking online courses which leads us to our third point. Third step is for you to learn digital skills. Don't stop at acquiring only head knowledge, but proceed to acquiring tangible, marketable skills that will give you leverage in the digital economy. The speed of change in technology demands an equal speed in acquiring skills that the new era requires. While governments have the huge responsibility to provide the necessary infrastructure and environment for you to thrive in the digital age, you also have the responsibility to ensure that you are proactive in the digital upskilling of yourself. You need to ensure that you are well positioned to take advantage of opportunities presented by the fourth industrial revolution. You need to learn how to leverage technology to increase your value and your human capital. Acquire the best skills and the the best knowledge so that you can future-proof yourself. We are presented with opportunities brought by the Ford Industrial Revolution. These opportunities require that you are fully equipped with the necessary digital skills. There will, this will empower you, of course, to contribute to the digital economy while addressing other pressing issues that are facing maybe your community or your city and perhaps your country at large. Digitally upskilling yourself will give you the ability to creatively match technological solutions to everyday real life problems. Digital skills will give you a high level understanding of the digital world and their application in the economy. Digital skills are critical for the future of work and you have to proactively be seeking ways to equip yourself with these skills so as to take advantage of the opportunities presented by the fourth industrial revolution. Digital skills such as marketing, SEO, coding, data science, blockchain, AI, um, cybersecurity, just to name a few. These are skills that are relevant in today's marketplace. And there is a high demand for skills in sectors such as retail, hospitality, tourism, financial services, sales, customer service, human resources, data management, and information technology. Because technology is touching every industry, even those working in manufacturing, need digital skills. People with just one fixed uh, skill set will not be able to survive in this era. So you have to learn different skills, learn different marketing skills that will allow you, you know, to be able to make inf decisions regarding your life. Learning even the basics will help you understand which technologies you should study in depth. For example, an IT uh, technician may have to study say data science in depth meanwhile a manager may only have to study about the basics of the fourth industrial revolution without necessarily having to be an expert in any of the technologies so whether you are young or you're old digital skills are critical for the times in which we're living digital skills will empower young people to be self-sufficient and to pursue entrepreneurial ventures Create jobs for themselves rather than just being, you know, job seekers or being angry at the government. Digital skills will help them to be able to create something for themselves. The fourth step is to network and build relationships. In today's connected world, you cannot really do much by yourself. You need people. Opportunities don't magically fall down from heaven. They come through people. Knowledge don't magically fall down from heaven into your brains. It comes through people as well. Even as you're listening to me, I suppose you'll learn a thing or two. And so, networking is a necessity. Anyone seeking to understand new economic trends or how to advance their careers or business cannot neglect networking. Mountains of research shows that professional networking leads to more opportunities, more jobs, more exposure, and more business. 
Research also shows that networking improves your knowledge of the world, the economy at large, and your capacity to innovate. I haven't traveled the world that much, but I know a lot about different cultures because I have connections that have exposed me to their culture through social interactions. I have also gained a lot of knowledge about technology through networking and interacting with people in the tech industry. So building and nurturing relationships gives you access to resources necessary to foster your business and career development. Imagine what life would be like without social interactions. And so you cannot really ride and enjoy the waves of change in this new era without connecting and interacting with like-minded people. I'm always on the lookout for new connections. So let's connect if you're on LinkedIn or Facebook. I have the same name on all of my social media. Research shows that success has a direct link to your networking skills. That is why the most connected individuals end up as the most successful. Investing in both personal and professional relationships has a good return on investment. Interacting with people will help you, you know, to keep up to date with the job market, stay in touch with current trends and meet perspective clients or mentors or partners and much more. Building relationships and collaborations creates value for yourself and for your business and your career. Sometimes you can make up for where you are lacking through networking. If you're lacking, maybe academically or even financially, you can make up for it with the right connections. Someone knows something that you don't and you can learn. I can boldly say that people have been my best teachers. Some of the people that don't even know, you know, but they have given me an equivalent of an MBA in certain skills that I didn't have prior to knowing them. So I learn from everyone all the time. And I always come out with lessons to improve myself in every interaction, whether it was bad or good. So you limit yourself if you only relying on the rigid school system or on your certificate to, to save you. Sometimes networking can open doors for you that your certificates cannot. I have met so many amazing people and I've been exposed to so many opportunities I never thought possible simply because I opened up to the idea of networking and talking to strangers. It's not easy, believe me, but it's worth it. For those that are shy or introverted, networking probably feels like a brutal trial by fire. And I understand because even for the extroverts who love and thrive on social interactions like myself, networking is still difficult. But like I said, it's worth it. Networking is an important skill. It's a skill like any other skills, and you can learn it. For me, I find networking easier online, so it's easier for me to hide behind my computer and start a conversation with a complete strangers than doing the same thing in real life. So you can try the same as well. Network with people online. And the fifth step is for you to stay curious. Keep your antennas up. Stay in tune with what's happening in the world around you. Curiosity is the ability to apply a sense of wonder and a desire to learn more and understand how things work. Curious people are always trying new things and asking new questions and searching for answers. Curiosity is a trait frequently associated with explorative pursuits. You know, it is a mindset seeking and trying to embrace knowledge which can be developed to boost success in your life, your business or your career. The impulse to seek information, new experiences and explore novel possibilities is a basic human attribute. But many people don't think of curiosity as a must-have skill. You know, only curious minds inspire questions that gives us answers to solutions we didn't even know. Most of the breakthrough discoveries and remarkable inventions throughout history, from flint of starting a fire to self-driving cars, they all have something in common. They are the results of curiosity, like, hmm, let me try this and see how it goes. Hmm, I wonder what will happen if I put this and this together. That's curiosity. Curiosity is key to being innovative, to learning and to growing. And if you want to fully understand the concept of the fourth industrial revolution and the world around you, you have to have a curious mindset. When you hear new technologies coming up as a curious person, your thinking should be, hmm, I wonder how artificial intelligence is going to affect my business or my career. 
Be curious about how a particular technology will affect your industry, will affect your work, or will affect your certificate. Do you really want to ride and enjoy this wave of change in the fourth industrial revolution? If yes, then be a curious person. Think of how these technologies applies to you. Are you a student? Think of how these technologies will impact what you are currently studying in school. Some people are in school studying to get degrees that are irrelevant for the marketplace and they don't even know it. Some are holding on to certificates that are completely obsolete and they don't even know it because they are not curious enough to ask questions. So be curious. Did I say something that resonated with you in this video? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Share your thoughts with me. And for those who want to have more tips on how to navigate and understand the world of technology, check out my book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted. It's available on Amazon and on my website as well. I will share the links in the description below. And if you love this content, please share this video on your favorite social media platform so the more people can be inspired. And remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. I am looking forward to seeing you in my next video. And thank you for watching.